Welcome to this demonstration video about the WebEx Contact Center. In this video, I would like to show multiple use cases. Let's come to the first use case. We would like to route a call through the WebEx Contact Center to an agent. Therefore, we're going to use the powerful flow editor in order to identify the customer. That means within the flow editor, we will identify the customer ANI using this ANI calling a web service from a CRM system in order to identify who's the customer and where to route the call to. Secondly, I would like to answer the call as an agent within SAP. Based on the ANI, we create a screen pop within SAP in order to show who's the customer to the agent. The complete history is also maintained within the CRM. And the last one is about the reporting. We're going to show a dashboard how the contact center can be controlled and reported. Let's come to the administration. So there's a web-based administration available for WebEx Contact Center. Within the flow designer, we are able to create a call flow, for example. Within the call flow, we have the possibility to call any kind of accessible web service and also use a text-to-speech engine to return, for example, an individual greeting of a customer by name. Let's have a look on the demo. Within the flow designer, we can create the call flow. Here, we do have multiple elements where I can build up my individual call flow, as well as I can also involve a chatbot or even a voice bot to capture standard information and save agents time. Let's have a closer look. For example, if a call comes in and we require to get information from SAP, we can call a web service from SAP and we can give the information, for example, the ANI to that web service and get the customer name returned. When it's going to be returned, we have the possibility, for example, to play this individual welcome message. So here we can use the text to speech engine in order to play the welcome message. After that, we can provide a menu. Within the menu, we can determine the options, option one and two. And last but not least, we can send the call to a certain queue. Within the queue, we can route either via a skill group or skill-based routing to a certain agent. Let's have a look on the agent desktop. Within the agent desktop, we have the possibility to make a link via the SAP system to the WebEx contact center. So all media is handled within one desktop and one system. We can use also the CRM to create screen pops, so who's calling or who's chatting me, as well as maintaining the complete customer history within the SAP system, for example. Let's have a look how we can do this for a voice call. Here we have the SAP system with the WebEx Contact Center integrated. From here, we have the possibility to show multiple things. For example, the reporting. It's important that agents also know what's going on within the contact center. Therefore, we can use this information here to see what has been handled by the team on all four different medias, from voice to chat to mail to social. Also, we can change the duration, if necessary, to an individual time frame set by the agent. Also, we do have the possibility to show more information, for example, about the queue. So at the moment, the system doesn't have anything in queue, so no chat or social or phone calls in queue. You can see here. But as well, I can see what has been handled today. All incoming requests are going to be listed later on in this window. If an agent had interaction even prior to the, the certain one, he can see his history within here, from SMS to chat to phone calls even. Let's call the contact center. Hello, Thorsten Schneider. Thank you for calling our contact center. 
If you need information about our products, please press 1. If you need to reach our support, please press 2. Press 1. Now the call is coming in. I answer that one. This call is being recorded. And now we have here the recording control. As you've heard, this call is by default recorded. This can be turned on or off individually per call flow. Here we're going to see all CTI information about the call and the contact history within the Webex Contact Center, but as well as as we have the integration within the SAP system, we can see this here on the SAP system as well. Here within the SAP system, I can leave a call note about what has been discussed between the customer and the agent. As well as I can see all information about this, this customer. Based on his phone number, on his ANI, I was able to create a pop-up within SAP, I can show the contact information, for example, the addresses, phone numbers, mail addresses, if there are any open tickets or even kind of tickets, we can see them in here, as well as activities. Here in the activities, I can see, for example, older or former call notes from older interactions. So now when I hang up the call, two things are happening. On the one hand side, we require to give up a wrap up reason for this certain call. On the other side, we can take this call into a survey and ask the customer for a satisfaction of solving his request. Please stay on the line as we want to know your opinion. Based on your interaction, how likely are you to recommend our services to a friend or family on a scale of 0 to 9, 0 being lowest and 9 being highest? How would you rate your overall satisfaction with the service you received on a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being very unsatisfied and 5 being very satisfied? Thank you for your input. Hear you next time. Goodbye. Let's come to the next demo. Let's have a look on the reporting engine. Within WebEx Contact Center, we do have an analytics tool. This analytics tool allows us to create reports based with a rights and roles management system in the back. So that means we can determine who can see what kind of information and we can even limit the view to sensitive information for certain groups if necessary. There are about 60 available reporting templates available, which we can fully customize in order to fulfill the customer reporting needs. There's also a possibility to create a pivot table. The pivot table can be used to put a, re a new relationship between certain numbers and create complete own reports, as you may know from Excel as an example. Then we also have the customer journey. So there's a report, for example, where we can see within um, the analyzer where the calls have been landed to. So where are the calls abandoned, to which menu option did they went, or even who answered the call uh, as an agent. There's also possibility to have thresholds within the reports. This allows us to identify unusual behavior of contact center. So that means we can quickly identify if something goes wrong within the contact center using a threshold. There's also the possibility to export the reporting information into Excel or in a CSV, a comma separated value file. Last but not least, we can use the reporting scheduler to send out daily emails with the performance of a former day, if necessary, for example. Let's have a look on the dashboard. Within the analyzer, we can go to the sections for dashboards. In dashboards, we have the possibility to start an individual dashboard. This dashboard consists of multiple reports and can be shown at a glance view of a complete contact center. So for example, we can see the abundant contacts for all four channels, also the, the leading reason for abundance, as well as we can see what has been done via chat, email, social, or telephony. 
there are multiple different options to show information. For example, a line diagram or even a bar graph or a gorge with a pie. Let's have a closer look on the customer journey. In the customer journey, we can see the incoming calls from all different channels, from chat, email, etc. So we can see how many calls arrived to the IVR and how many went to the sales group. We can even see how many have been abandoned, 36 as an example, and also how many went to queue and have been distributed to each of the individual agents and within the contact center. So nine went to Torsten, six to Ivan. Let's come to the next use case. Within the next use case, we would like to start a Cobra session. So that means we are now using a digital channel in order to start the possibility to fill in a web form as a customer as well as, uh, as an agent. So both can see both sides and fill in an order form on the website or alternatively fill in a PDF form as well. In order to start a co-browse, we do have two options. Option number one is within the, the, the website, the customer can click on a button and start a co-browse session. He gets an individual PIN number. This PIN number he can either tell on the phone if they're already in a call, the agent and the customer, or as an alternative, if no call exists, the agent can see in the front end that there is a new incoming request and he can take that one as well. Alternatively, to start a, an individual Cobra session, we can also use um, the copy to clipboard link. So here, the agent can create a link and send this via chat, for example, to the customer. Let's have a look on the demo. Now you see on the left hand side is there's the agent. On the right hand side you see the customer. Now, for example, the customer wants to enter here this order form. He can click the help button. He can say on the phone the PIN number or the agent can see the request within his queue here. Now both start a, a Cobra session. For example, now the agent can mark things and the customer can type in the information. They can also switch roles if necessary. Now we have switched the roles. Now you see the customer has possibility to mark and the agent can enter any kind of information, correct things. Let's switch back. Now it's also important that sensitive information do not get displayed to the agent. For example, his birth date. You see, everything I type in here is marked via access at the agent. So you can't see the information if this is a sensitive information. The same for PIN numbers. So if he types in a PIN number, you can see everything is X'd out or credit card information. Also note that there's a possibility to disable the submit button of this form for the agent. So the agent cannot submit this one, only the customer can submit. Now let's start a code browse on a PDF file. So the PDF is uploaded and it's shared. Now we have the same possibility with the marking things like on the website, but as well, we can type in information in here and also switch roles as we have seen before. Let's switch control.
Let's close this session. Let's come to the next use case. For the next use case, we would like to start a digital channel as well. So we use the web chat and the web chat, web, web chat will come to a chatbot. And the chatbot we can use to identify standard information that is useful for the agent, for example, to book a flight. In my example, I would like to book a flight and the chatbot will ask me certain questions from where to where I would like to fly. After I've entered all information, this session will be given to an agent and within SAP, we're gonna see the chat as well as the screen pop with the customer data. We can use the knowledge base to answer standard requests by the, by, by the uh, customer, or we can also use predefined answers. We can also start a Kubra session within there and even turn into a video call to show th certain things on the premise of the customer. Therefore, we're gonna see two things. On the left side, we see the agent with WebEx Contact Center and SAP. On the right-hand side, we're gonna see the SMS uh, tool from the customer. Let's start the demo. So on the phone, I start the chat. I have to enter some information, for example, my name and my email address. The email address is used to identify myself within the CRM system. I can select what kind of questions I have to determine the correct queue within the contact center and start the chat. Now this request gets sent to the WebEx contact center and a chatbot is started. Within the chatbot, I'm now asked for my flight booking details. For example, from where to where I would like to fly and when I would like to fly. Now this chat is sent to an agent and he can answer that one. Now multiple things are happening. On the one hand side, within the chat, we can see the interaction between the customer and also the virtual bot or virtual assistant. So we see all booking information in here and we can now answer this one. For example, we can use a predefined chat response. Now let's have a look on the, on the history. On the right-hand side, we're gonna see that this uh, customer already started chat multiple times before. So we see the history in here, as well as, and I minimize this one, I can see in SAP also the information about the customer. So we started a chat via the, via the email address and I can put in notes in here as well. Here as well, we can see all information about the customer, his address, his open tickets, if any, his activities, if any, for example, also old or former call notes. We can also use the knowledge base to answer this chat or questions. Let's go to the knowledge base. From here, we can select in the knowledge base an article, for example, how to pay online. We can use this article and send this back 
via chat as well. Now imagine they require to start a Cobra session. The agent can start a Cobra session on the website. and copies the link and gives this link to the customer. The customer can click on the link. Now both sides can co-browse. Within here, even we have the same possibilities to mark things as a customer on his mobile. And we can also switch roles, for example, that the other side can take over. Now imagine we require to turn this into a video. We start the video chat. We select the correct camera. The same for the customer. And here we can even switch the camera. And we can turn and start the Cobras. Here you can see it now, for example, showing a paper. Or turn back into the corpus. Let's stop it. Let's come to the next use case. For example, if we would like to use SMS and contact center, we can use also the social messaging platform for SMS. Therefore, we can send an SMS into the contact center, which gets routed through the WebEx contact center. And then when it's routed through a contact center, it can be even shown to an agent, and this SMS can also create a screen pop as we have seen before, for example, for an incoming call or web chat. Therefore, we're going to see two things. On the right hand side, we will see the customer on his mobile where he starts an SMS. On the left hand side, we will see the agent answering the SMS as well as the SAP system showing details for the, about the customer. Let's have a demo on this. Let's close the former interaction. And now the customer can start his SMS. The agent can answer this request. And you see in the back, we also have the possibility to trigger the SAP system. So based on the phone number, we can also start here an interaction where the agent can leave any kind of notes concerning this SMS chat. And from here, we can now standardly work on this interaction. We also have the possibility to transfer and to conference this, this chat 
using the standard functionalities like in a voice call. Let's close this interaction. So we are asked to give a wrap up reason like for voice and chats and emails as well. Thank you for watching this demonstration video.